Real estate developers in the United Kingdom come up with new building projects all the time. But when a mega company like Google decides to build its head office in the UK, it is a worthy headline. In this video, we will take you on a digital tour of Google's new headquarters in the northern part of London. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. The Trillion Dollar Company is now constructing a new head office at 16 to 21 Stable Street, King's Cross, London, in addition to the current one in 6 Pancras Square, King Cross, and the other in Central St. Giles, London. The building project started around 2018 and has seen its completion and launch. This is independent of the four pre-existing Google offices in London. This Super HQ structure can comfortably accommodate over 5,000 employees in their respective living quarters. The new London HQ is so high that Britons living around there call it the Landscraper. It runs over the length of 330M, which is higher than the 310M height of the Shard Tall Skyscraper. It is 11 stories tall, and the landmass covers over 1 million square feet with facilities such American Samoa Basketball Court, a theater, a three-lane 25M swimming pool, massage parlors, and other relaxing lounges. The whole length of the building is almost parallel to the King Cross railway line. Many vloggers and influencers have taken Instagrammable pictures which capture the gorgeous views from the rooftop meadow. The rooftop spot is very spacious, having seatings for thousands. The area is a delightful and peaceful place for office workers and visitors to enjoy the views and recreational amenities. There is also an outdoor running track on the rooftop. The floor space spans about 60,000 square meters and can accommodate over 4,500 employees. In addition, there is a massive event center on the first and second floors, while smaller event halls are on the ground floor. There are several offices, conference rooms, and one town hall. Some of these spaces go with waiting lounges, foyers, tea rooms, convenience rooms, and other support spaces. There is also a Zone A building which is planned for the lineup of several offices with Class B1 and Class B2 sections. Each zone in the entire building has a dedicated parking garage. Those on foot have easy access to the walkway leading to the London St. Pancras International Rail Station, or Wharfdale Road slash London Canal Museum bus stops. There is a Google campus in the neighboring area, which is a good thing, as Facebook plans its future building project still in King's Cross. The campus and library will facilitate the creation of a joint tech hub if that happens by chance. Google Incorporated chose its head office in King Cross for a few main reasons. King Cross is well linked to important transport routes there are fine railway lines that run in and out of King's Cross Station. With one railway journey, you can reach central London in minutes and even decide to go to Paris or Ireland. The town has significantly opened up with increased infrastructural developments, enough to attract another tech giant, Facebook. The neighborhood is in trekkable distance to the Turing Institute, the British Museum, University College, London, and its hospital, and several biotech startups and financial institutions. This remarkable building was designed by the Danish architect, Jark Ingels, in the studios of Thomas Heatherwick. Jark Ingels was the architect responsible for Google's head office in Mountain View, California. And Heatherwick Studio based in King Cross is not new to heavy construction projects like these. They had recently completed the beautiful Coal Drops Yard shopping center. Both groups have the expertise with an impressive track record. They adhere to Google's healthy material program in the sourcing of materials and construction techniques. The Danish architect, on behalf of Jark Ingels Group, said, Our design for the new Google Place at King's Cross is rooted in the local character of the area, thus connecting Googlers across multiple floors. The interior design contract was given to Lendelees Group, but the design was envisioned and put in place by Big. The tech giant allowed the majority of its developers and engineers to work remotely due to the COVID restriction, but the tech giant announced plans for staff to resume full-time in July 2021. It's reasonable to assume that Google London staff will be returning to the other offices and not the headquarters yet. Google has said that the mega building would surely be completed by the end of this year or early next year. What do you think about Google's new UK headquarters worth $1 billion? Would you like a tour of the building? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.